Hi folks, it's Ivo here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's cooking episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. Today folks, I'm going to share a fantastic recipe for baked fish and you could use whatever fish is your favorite. This recipe is generic, good for any fish. So what I did is I, I made a brine and to make the brine, I took the juice of one lemon and then I added an equal amount of olive oil, so one to one ratio to, uh, to the lemon juice. And then what I did is I took two big cloves of garlic and minced it up and added into my brine. If your garlic cloves are small, add three cloves. So this is my brine, uh, olive oil, garlic, and lemon juice, very important. All right, now what I did is I took for my, uh, my batter, I guess you might wanna call, or my, my covering, I got one cup of breadcrumbs, a quarter cup of flour, and then what I did is I minced some parsley uh, and I added fresh parsley to it, and then I also added some Old Bay seasoning. Now as far as the seasoning goes, add whatever seasoning is your favorite. You like lemon pepper? Add lemon pepper. You just want salt and pepper? Add salt and pepper. Whatever you like. Again, it's a generic recipe uh, and you can tailor it to your needs. So I've got my uh, breadcrumb mixture here. The rest is real simple. I've got my oven uh, pan. I'm going to use the small toaster oven because I've only got four fillets that I'm uh, cooking today. And I've lined it uh, with some uh, little bits of butter. So I've, I've got some butter here on, uh, on my pan. And I've also got a sheet of parchment paper. I like to use parchment paper. It doesn't stick as much. So I've got some beautiful fillets here. Of, uh, I'm using sea bass today. But again, use whatever fillets that you like, whatever your favorite fish is. And then quite simply, put it into the, uh, the bag with your breadcrumb mixture and shake it all up. Get those fillets all covered up with, uh, with your breadcrumb mixture. So shake them around, don't be shy. Get them all nice and covered up. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take them out of, the, uh, out of the bag. That's beautiful, look at that, okay. And place it over top of those little strips of butter on the pan. Just like so. Uh, let's do that. And then that one. Get that fourth one out. Uh, let's put it this way. Okay. A little bit of parsley. All right. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some slivers of butter. I'm gonna add a little more slivers of butter and I'm gonna place them on the top of the fillets. Just some thin, thin slivers of butter. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the brine and I am going to drizzle this brine all over these fish fillets. And don't be shy, and if you get a little bit of extra garlic on there, that's okay. Get them good and covered with the, with the brine. All right, let's do these one at a time here. Just take your brine, and again, like I say, don't be shy, get them good and covered. Got lots of brine here to use. And you wanna make sure that you get that brine on the entire filet. There we go, absolutely perfect. So those are all covered in the brine. Now what I'm gonna do, I pre-slice some, uh, a nice big clove of garlic. And I'm gonna take these thin slices of garlic and just place them over top of those slivers of butter that I put on earlier. So I'm just gonna place them ever so nicely, just on top, just like that. Perfect. Now, it's time to go in the oven. Okay, so I have the uh, toaster oven here set at 450 degrees. It's been preheating for about 10, 10, 15 minutes already, so it's ready to go. Very simply, we're gonna put our fillets into that toaster oven, and depending on the thickness of your fillet will determine how long they need to cook. These particular fillets are gonna take about 15 minutes, possibly close to 20, but we're gonna let them go for 15, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, folks, it's been a good 15 minutes. And I gotta tell you, it's looking mighty fine. All right, let's take it out. Oh boy. It's just starting to crack, and that's when you know it's done. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Four nice fillets there. Oh boy, I'm gonna be eating good tonight. Let's get a little sample going here. Okay. Oh boy. Well, there's a nice chunk of garlic on that one too. <laughs> I'll save that for later. Um, oh my, no. 
you know I love my fried fish. Absolutely love my fried fish. Good fish fry goes a long way. But baked fish, healthy, absolutely delicious. You gotta give this recipe a try. I know you're gonna love it. Folks, I wanna thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's cooking edition of Thunder Miss Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck, good fishing.